Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. How's everybody doing? I'm out for another nature walk. As I've mentioned, it's the best thing for your mind. When you're alone in nature, you get to do a lot of thinking. It's funny, my younger daughter always asks me, how could you go in the woods by yourself? But I enjoy it. Not only is it peaceful, I do some of my best thinking here. So for people out there who never walk in the woods, I definitely suggest that you try it. Give it a try. Just don't get lost. I've been receiving a lot of questions about associates and what their role is and what they can and what they can't do. So just to be clear, an associate is someone who's around the crew. He could either be with one of the members of that crew or he could even be with a captain. A lot of people ask, can an associate be with a captain? The answer is yes. I was also asked, what's the difference between an associate with a member or a friend versus an associate that's with a captain? And the answer to that is gonna be, he who has the king's ear is king. Which means if an associate is directly with a captain, he has that captain's ear and that's beneficial to him. An associate cannot be introduced as a friend in that life, nor can an associate have anything to do with the introduction process. I remember one time we went to go meet Richie Martino in a restaurant in the Bronx. Richie's a Gambino. I had Louis Jack Gampero with me. Louis was an associate with the Lucchese family. And he went over to Richie and he whispered something to him. He called me over and he introduced me to Richie. Later on, he told me, I did a soft introduction. Now remember, Louis is an associate. I says, what are you talking about? You did an introduction. He says, well, you know, I kind of told him who you are and what you are. Now, Louis never supposed to do that. I don't know how Richie took it. I was a little surprised that he would do that, but he did it nevertheless. Sometime after that, in another restaurant, I was formally introduced to Richie by Frankie Giudici. A lot of people who have heard all my stories have commented that the mob is like a bunch of washwomen, they're right, and there's always a lot of trouble going on every day. But believe it or not, nobody in the mob causes more trouble than associates. Someone just asked me if an associate is with a member or with a captain, can he go and call for help if need be? And the answer is yes, an associate can run to somebody if he needs help and he has a problem. That doesn't mean he's always gonna get the help because he could be in the wrong. Also, an associate should be on call 24 seven. Through the years, I've seen a lot of associates get abused. And I'll give you an example. Go get my car, go do this, meet me here, wait here, go take my car for an oil change, go pick up my dry cleaning. There's a lot of associates that spend most of their time sitting in the car waiting for the guy that they're with. Me personally, any associate was a friend of mine and that's the way I treated them. I never took advantage of any associate that was around me. Obviously, being a friend, I knew I was in a different position than they were, but I never treated them that way, nor did I ever look down on them. Conversely, Patty De La Rosa was the complete opposite. He was abusing any associate that was around him, and he looked down his nose at them. But what I understood and Patty couldn't comprehend was that an associate isn't always going to be an associate. Maybe one day that associate's also going to be a friend, and he's never going to forget how you treated him. He's going to be your equal. And in some cases, Maybe that associate becomes a friend and then gets a position and now that associate is now your boss. And imagine if you were abusing him for years. A lot of people ask the question, how long does an associate have to be an associate for? There is no answer to that. It all depends on who he's around. There are guys that's been associates for 15, 20 years. Then you have the guys, they just wanna be an associate. They don't wanna be inducted into that life. As for Anthony Guzzo and myself, we were associated to the Lucchese family for not even a year before we got straightened out. So we were straightened out pretty quickly. There's also something that can be done to an associate that a lot of people don't know about. An associate can be put in limbo, it means he's indefinitely not being straightened out. Years ago, if there was any dirty work to do, it would be given to an associate. If there was a chance where somebody could get pinched or arrested for something, they give it to an associate to do. They're not gonna risk getting a friend jammed up. There are also some rare cases where an associate is treated like a friend. For instance, like Jimmy Burke, Joe Watts, Tony Muscatello. And that basically means that inducted members would do business with them. There can't be an introduction because they're an associate, they're not inducted, but they're treated as they are. 
In some cases, associates have done things or put their hands on people where they could have gotten themselves killed, but it all depends on who their rabbi is. In that life, how much you're liked goes a long way. Someone else asked me, does an associate ever get hit? I've seen a lot of associates get smacked, and most of them know better not to pick their hands up. When a crew has a Christmas party, depending on who the associates are and how well they're liked, they'll be invited to the Christmas party as well. Usually, they'll be sitting at the far end of the table. Some associates are big earners, and that's good and bad for them. It's good because they want to bring money into the crew and get recognized as an earner, and it's bad because if the guy they're with is greedy, whether he be a friend or a captain, he's not going to look to straighten that guy out because he's going to lose and earn. If anyone wants my advice or even cares what I have to say, especially a young guy who wants to be an associate or be associated to these crews, my advice to you is don't become an associate. Learn a trade and become an apprentice and make something in your life. When you go to work every day, you don't got to worry about all the backstabbing and treachery that goes on in that life. If you enjoy taking this little walk with me and hearing about associates, you can hit the like button if you want. I appreciate everyone who does. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day. Take care. You can subscribe to the Sit Down News blog at sitdownnews.com. And I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Thank you. Well, just another example in the mob you never knew about. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you could do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description to this video.